Hello everyone, this is Chris Saranda, Kate and Sugar Artist and Brand Ambassador for Innovative Sugar Works. Today, it is time for a new tutorial. From this tutorial, I will be teaching you some techniques on how to make beautiful wedding cupcakes, getting inspired on some of the rules of the haute couture. So, let's get started. I'm going to start by melting some white chocolate or candy melts on the microwave until it flows and you're able to pour it in your silicone molds. This is an easy way to make delicious applications like jewels, buttons and more. As you can see, I'm using my fabulous light blue or pointed cheese and sugar shaper to make sure every part of the mold is filled with chocolate. This is very helpful when you have very detailed molds. And of course, once you have all your molds filled, put them on a tray and let them chill on the fridge for 15 to 20 minutes or until they feel hard enough. After this, then you will be able to unmold very easily and your applications will be ready to be dusted or painted as you wish. Can you see? They unmold very easy. And for me, it is the easiest and safest way to make some applications for your cupcakes, cakes or more. As you can see, now I'm gonna take some of the pearl dust that I have with my Sugar Artist brush by Innovative Sugar Works and apply it to my jewels. This will give more texture and more realism to my applications. And also, I will be using some gold and silver highlighter diluted with some Everclear or alcohol using my very fine Sugar Artist brush by Innovative Sugar Works. They already look amazing, right? And now I want to show you that you can also make more sugar applications by rolling gum paste into a 2 or 1 mm thickness. Remember, the thinner the better. So, start cutting out some simple small flowers by using a medium, small or extra small sizes. And you can also help yourself by using the orange bone, cheese and sugar shaper if they stay on the cutter. And now with my super sharp exacto knife, separate each one of the petals of my flower to create very tiny leaves. Also with the orange sugar shaper, I will make pressure over a foam pad to cup each one of my flowers. And the same but using the red tree tip cheese and sugar shaper, making pressure to my tiny leaves to give them movement and texture. And of course, you want to repeat the process with each one of your petals and lips. Again, gonna roll out some gum paste to make some ruffle applications. Remember, when you're trying to make fabric effects, the thinner you can roll it, the better it will be. And of course, you can always apply pearl dust to give a shiny fabric effect. Now see how I am cutting some circles that I'm gonna drape or crease with my fingers. It is very easy. Once you have them ready, don't forget to pinch on the base. Press and pinch. This way, they will stay on that form and they will keep that movement that we are looking for those ruffles. Don't forget to cut the excess and leave them dry for a minimum of one hour. And please don't panic if they are not perfect. That's the amazing of this technique. So don't stress and just enjoy. Again, I'm gonna roll out some fondant or gum paste with some pearl dust on top. And you can also use fabrics to texture your gum paste or fondant. You can see how I'm rolling some tool over to my fondant to emboss it. It looks fabulous. Don't you love it?
And now I will cut some flowers. But I will let dry over a sphere shape molds. So they will get dry with that shape and not completely flat. Of course, you can repeat this process with any color and any shape you want. It looks beautiful, right? And it's perfect for any decoration. And finally, you can also make some applications with silicone molds. If you make it with cum paste, as I'm making some butterflies, this is very helpful when you want to use molds but give them movement at the same time. As you can see, I'm helping with my sugar shaper to take the excess off the silicone mold. And now you can just unmold your butterflies, fold some cardboard and put them in and let them dry. So once we have all our decorations ready, I will let them dry over a bumpy foam and they look so perfect, right? Now it is time to prepare our cupcakes that I already have. And I'm gonna fill them with a yummy all berries compote. And I'm gonna apply some ganache. Of course, you can use buttercream or anything you want, but because I'm gonna be using fondant over the top, I prefer to use ganache. As you can see, I'm gonna be using my sugar smoothers by Innovating Sugar Works. This way, I'm gonna make sure that my cupcakes are round and perfect. It is easy, right? It is very simple and they already look amazing. I'm gonna repeat the process with each one of my cupcakes to make sure they are ready for decoration. So, for this cupcake, I'm gonna start by rolling some fondant. You want to have a 2 or 3 millimeter thickness. And I'm going to start by cutting a circle. You want to put it over your cupcake. And with your fingers, you want to make it smooth. Again, I'm going to be using my sugar smoothers. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of edible glue. And you can place over one of the decorations that we already made with chocolate. Again, let's put some edible glue and maybe, why not, some flowers inside. Again, I'm helping myself with my sugar shaper to push and make sure they stay on place. Applying a little bit of edible glue, I'm gonna put inside the flowers a little bit of a little bit of metallic, metallic pearls. Uh, I'm gonna apply some pearls inside the flowers. And that's it. It is very simple, right? So for the next cupcake, I'm gonna roll some fondant. And with the help of my sugar smoothers and my red sugar shaper, I'm gonna start by marking some lines, guiding myself with the sugar shaper as a ruler.
So you wanna leave about one centimeter between each line. And after that, you wanna go on diagonal, marking lines, of course, the same way, leaving about one centimeter between each line. Keep marking, and once you have this ready, cut your circle, and now it is ready to put it over your cupcake. Make sure it is nice and smooth. And after that, now I will be using my mini sugar shaper, the red tip, and I'm gonna start marking some creasings on each mark. And that's it. Just gonna finish applying some pearl dust. With my pointed chisel sugar shaper, mark some holes. That after I will apply a little bit of edible glue and some gold pearls. And it's time for our chocolate cameo. And that's it. It's beautiful, right? So elegant, so simple. For our next cupcake, I'm just gonna roll out again some ivory fondant. Make sure it is nice and smooth. And with our orange bone chisel sugar shaper, I'm gonna start by marking some holes. Mark, mark, and mark. You can use both sides of your bone chisel sugar shaper. You don't have to make an exact pattern. You just want to make sure that you have a lot of texture of your cupcake. And once you're ready, you just have to take some gold highlighter and apply it over your fondant. Take a little bit of edible glue and put your butterflies on. It's beautiful, right? For our next cupcake, I'm gonna roll out my fondant very thin. The thinner, the better, remember. And again, I'm gonna use my tool to give some texture to my fondant. I'm gonna cut a few circles, but now I'm gonna cut two different sizes, a medium and a small one. Put a little bit of cornstarch on the base and by using our pointed chisel put it on the side and start making pressure to get beautiful ruffles. Can you see? It is very simple. This is such a good idea to get those beautiful ruffles. And of course, you can use this technique for any cake or cupcake whenever you need beautiful and marked ruffles. Once you're ready with this, I'm just gonna start applying the first circle with ruffles make sure it is nice and smooth and with edible glue apply the second and the third put a bit of edible glue and finish with a beautiful brooch it's beautiful Again, I'm gonna cover my cupcake with fondant. And for the next design, we're gonna roll out some gum paste. That again, we're gonna texture with some tool. Of course, you can apply some pearl dust. And with a plastic knife, start cutting some ribbons. You wanna make stripes 
about 2 cm wide and 5 cm long. After this, that we're gonna crease on the vase by applying a little bit of edible glue and folding your gum paste back and forth. It is that simple and you just wanna repeat the process with each one of your ribbons. And once you have all of your ribbons ready, put a little bit of glue on the center of your compass, on the center of your cupcake, and start putting each one of your bows on a star shape. Put a bit of edible glue and finish with a beautiful brooch on the center. It is so simple and it looks so elegant. Don't you love it? For the next cupcake, again, I'm gonna roll out some fondant. And now, by using our green round tip chisel, I'm gonna start making the texture of sequins. The secret for this is to start making marks close to the other. And just repeat the pattern until you have your sequence texture. Of course, by using our pointed chisel, I'm gonna mark a little dot inside every sequence to give that natural look of sequence. Once you have your texture ready, cut the circle for your cupcake and put it over your cupcake. Apply some pearl dust and you'll see the result that is beautiful. And of course, finish beautiful chocolate brooch. Isn't that quick? It's beautiful. Again, roll out some fondant, but now we're gonna use our red treated chisel sugar shaper and start making lines. You don't wanna have an exact pattern. Just wanna fill every part of your fondant with lines. Remember, don't leave any, any place with li without, without lines. Apply some edible pearl, apply some pearl dust. And if you remember the ruffles that we made, we're gonna start inserting our ruffles on the top of our cupcake. Apply a little bit of edible glue and start putting some tiny flowers on the edge of your ruffles. You can finish your cupcake by applying some gold pearls inside every flower. And that's it. It's so simple and it looks beautiful. For the next cupcake, again, rolling some fondant, I'm gonna start making lines. Making the pattern of a shell. Once you have the pattern of a shell, 
you want to cut the circle, put it over your cupcake. And again, with my sugar shapers, I'm going to make sure that there is no space with no texture. And of course, you can use a stitching wheel to give more texture to your cupcake. As you can see, stitches are amazing on this texture. And of course, applying some edible pearl dust. And I'm gonna finish this cupcake by applying some chocolate jewels. And of course, you can highlight with some pearls. I'm gonna apply a little bit of edible glue and that's it. It looks beautiful, it's so elegant. Again, roll out some fondant and again, and with our bone chisel, make the same pattern that we made start marking dots and fill all the surface with dots apply some pearl dust on the top and for this I'm gonna put my beautiful daisy brooch and I'm gonna finish it with the tiny leaves that we made at the beginning, remember? You just want to insert them to have a beautiful pattern of leaves. It's beautiful, right? It's so simple and it was so quick. And now, again, I'm gonna use our green round tip chisel. Marking, marking little steps. And you want to cover all the surface of your cupcake and you want to cover all the surface of your fondant with little marks remember don't leave any space with no texture once you have it ready got your circle apply some pearl dust and a and to finish, I'm going to apply some beautiful flowers that we already made. Finish your cupcake, applying some pearls on the center and a few leaves. And that's how we finished our last cupcake. To finish the project, I'm gonna apply some cupcake wrappers. And I'm sure that this way the cupcakes will look more elegant and beautiful. It's a perfect complement for our project. And that's it. Look how beautiful our cupcakes look. Don't you love them?
Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed a lot. And please, don't forget to follow Innovative Sugar Pro on social media, such as mine, for more tutorials. This is Chris Aranda, and I will see you soon.